Hello, Linda. How are you? Yeah, I am, Bob. Good. Yeah, yeah. Good to have your company today, Linda. Thank you. Let's see if anybody else is going to join us, shall we? Um, how are you anyway? Well, I'm good. How are you, Linda? Good. How are you, Linda? <laughs> I'm okay, <dad. laughs> Oh, I've got, don't look at my clock yet. Oh. <laughs> Let's see if there's anybody there. Hello. Uh, is Paul in the building? Good morning, Catherine. Good morning, Catherine. Good to have your company. Come on in. Have you got your coffee with you? Paul, are you around as well? Here we go. Look, they're all there. Morning, Debbie. Okay. Coffee time. Linda, you got a coffee? Have you got a biscuit? I've got a big cup, look. Big cup. Big cup, yeah. Me too. Check it out. To teach is to touch a life forever. Oh, that's lovely. Do you know who gave me that? No. Gee. Pat Hoskin. Pat, Pat Hoskin. Hoskins. Oh, bless she her. She made it. Oh, She made it you? for me. Look, if I show you, you wow. see it's got, actually, I've got a camera here. Let me see if I can show you. You see? Yes. Isn't oh, it super? Yeah. From the Shack Shack, yeah. Oh. Morning, ladies. Come on in. Morning, Karen. I just saw Karen Smith fly by. Check that's it out. Lovely. Isn't it nice? That's from Pat. Pat Hoskins got a heart of gold. She has. How long yeah. have you known Pat? Um, about twenty-three years, maybe. 23 have you years. really? Yeah. Yeah. So she's a traditional parcher like your good self, I suppose. Right. Yes, Pat was. Oh, one of one of the really well known Pergamano teachers. And I always looked up to Pat's work because she'd written books and I I love to to listen to her relate all the stories and she's travelled all over the world to teach. So Has um, she? Yes. She taught on cruises, she's been to Australia, um, Singapore. Um, France, Belgium, Holland. I'm not sure. I think she might have taught in the States at some point as well. So, yes. It's, I mean, Pat. Really? Yeah, 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 yeah. And is so, she in the building today, Pat? Are you there? I she'll wonder be if Pat's there. with us this morning. I would have thought she would be. Yes. It I'm just sure goes she... to show if you've been in the if you've been in the game long enough, you know, in the craft world long enough, it's quite astounding how you know how many connections there are. You yes. Know? Yes. And I only met Pat when she joined the um the Shack Shack. That's how I know Pat. Just yes. when she joined the Shack at the beginning of lockdown. Yeah. There she she did is. To... Yeah, she's there, there. We are. she's there, Linda. Morning, Pat. Morning. <laughs> Linda's just, just been holding your praises, madam. <laughs> she did come to one Clarity Open Day. Do you remember that? Yes, I do. It must have been the last one that we had because she 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 got she had to get her daughter to bring her because she's not too That's confident correct. driving long distances now. So. Yes. You're, you're right. Yeah, yes. it was. Uh, yes, yes, yes. That's right. Yeah. That's right. So that would have been last year. Yes, yes absolutely. You just can move my Fabulous. camera. There we are. I feel like I'm not talking to you. There we are. Oh, let me you show you right this. There, I'm okay, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Look, have you seen that um, scientist on? I can't keep bobbing in front of this clock. I've got to tell you the story behind it. Have you seen the scientist on a Saturday morning? And he's um, his name is Chris Professor Chris Smith, and he gives all the, the ginger COVID hair bloke. Yes, oh yes, that's right. And he gives all the COVID information, and he's he's a young chap, you know, and he's really well educated, and he's so knowledgeable about COVID and the way things are going. And he's got this big light up clock behind him that counted down the seconds. Like this one. <laughs> <laughs> you mad woman. <laughs> so, so Rob said, oh, I don't have a clock like that. So we tried and tried all over Christmas to get this clock, but I did manage to find one after Christmas. So this flipping clock has been staring me in the chops in our lounge for ages and ages. <laughs> I said, take that down to your office. Let's get rid of it. So he took it down and I said to him this morning, go get the clock. 
<laughs> it's very snazzy, isn't it's it? Good, isn't it? Yeah. yeah, beautiful. <laughs> it adds a little bit of um, intellect to the affair, does. doesn't it? Yes, makes me a little bit of an eminent <laughs> professor. <laughs> <laughs> is, is Paul in? Sorry, Linda, is Paul in the room? I'm not sure. Paul, are you there? Because you haven't. Let me see if Paul's there with us. I'm not sure, love. Maybe, maybe not. He said he would join us just to in case anybody's got any questions because yeah. he's going to give me. If anybody's got any questions for us, then this would be a perfect opportunity to answer them, wouldn't it? Yes. Yeah, no, he's not there yet. No so way. I don't know if he's in or not. Paul is here. Yeah. Okay. So now, Paul, good morning. Show yourself. <coughs> Are you in your pyjamas, Paul? <laughs> he's, he's not. He's at work. He's on his lap. <laughs> no, he's at work. I was on the phone oh, to him at six o'clock this morning. <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, bless. Yeah, it's all go because, of course, we've got the sale on, haven't we? So, so Paul's gone in early to print off orders just to get ahead of the game. So is he getting you know? that? And, uh, Lots of orders. It's gone. Yeah, yeah, it's all fun. I mean, it goes till Monday midnight, Linda. But, yeah. you know, you've got to get ahead of the game, really. Because yes. we, since COVID, we've had such a paired-back team that we're all pedalling twice as hard, really, to keep going. I know, you know. I know. It's difficult. I mean, this COVID's been really tough on everybody, isn't it, you know? But uh, particularly on, on people that are tr trying to keep their business afloat, I think you need all the help that you can get, don't you? You know, it's uh, well, it's been tough. It's been tough on, alongside all your everyday problems as well, because we've all got everyday problems, you know? You all get hit. Yeah, haven't we? And uh, and it just, I think it's just magnified all of those things as well, you know? Don't you I, think? Oh, absolutely. And and also, um, I mean, it has been a hell of a challenge. It certainly, you know, it keeps you on your toes trying to run a business through this. But then yeah. I've got friends like you, you know, who just as soon as it kicked in, you rolled your sleeves up and off you went, you know. And, yeah. and you haven't looked up, really. I've never... No. You know, I, I can't tell you how much I appreciate it, Linda, oh, you know. Well, it's been, I think um, friendships like really. that are a two-way thing, aren't they? You know, you're, you're, you're an equally good friend. I mean, you've helped me out of tough spots. You've, you've always been there for me, and I've had a, a few crises in my time, and you've always been there and talked me through it and give me a good pep talk and got me out the other end, you know. And you've always taught me one day at a time, take it one day at a time. And that's what I, you know, that's what you do when you've got tough things going ahead, isn't it? You know, so no, it was a pleasure to help. I, I, I could during COVID. I think I got the feeling I could have run for the hills. I had two options: I could have run for the hills, or I could have pulled my big girl pants on and helped people and helped you survive. So that's what I wanted to do, and it. it it did me a huge favour, as you know, Rob had been ill as well. So it did me a huge favour to have this, to concentrate morning, noon and night, as you say, every spare minute I got, and, and I, that's what I did. And I, I, it, it just kept me on the straight and narrow, you know? So um, I'm grateful for that. I, I, I think that, you know, we've talked about this. There are givers and there are takers, you know, and you're yeah. very much a giver. You know, you are a giver. Uh, it, it runs through you like the Brighton Rock. It, yes. it doesn't and you matter. Too. You too. Well, and you prefer and perhaps and you that's own. why. But that's maybe why we get we get on well because yes. you know exactly. because we give and we take and I and I remember, you know I I remember going when we went to Slovenia. Do you remember? And yes. uh, we had such a fantastic time yes. just as girlfriends. Yes. I mean, yes. we were there to work. They were supposed to be work that. Yes. You know? yeah. Um, but it was uh it was a real that it's not work, is it, with us? It's not no. a, it's not really a working relationship at all. It's a different it has a different no. level. It's, it's never a been a working level. relationship. And no. and I think, like you say, because we give us, we both give us, it it works both ways. And I, I got I've I can count on my one hand the number of real true friends I have. And I can honestly say they're all givers, you know? Yeah, it's and same. I, you can't have same. a giver 
I don't think a giver can be friends with a taker that takes all the time. That's not to a end long at period. Some point. Of, not over, it has to come to an end in the end. It comes doesn't to an it, end at some point. You get you get tired of it. And you don't give I, to I, get back. I, I think so. But if you give, give, give all the time, then in the end it becomes tiring, you know? Like, um, yeah. Lynn Jackson, another giver. Gail Sidden, yes. another giver. Lynn works tirelessly behind the scenes, which yeah. enables me to do what I do for you. Because yes. I, I, get the, I get the nice bits of um, designing and creating the project. And then Lynn does all the monotonous bits in the background. Bless her. Yes. Thank you, Lynn Jackson, you know? I mean, yes. it allows me then to do more for you, you know. Yes. More just more and, and you know, and isn't that isn't that lovely? It's the same, and and it's the same with Paul. Like Paul's in the building, it's the same thing. He's a giver, totally. A giver. You know, yeah. he'll give you the shirt off his back. Yes. Dave's a giver. My brother's a giver. Yeah, Rob's you know, a giver. it's just people. Rob's a giver. Yeah. You know, and I, I was I went to see my friend Karen. Remember mm -hmm. at the wedding? At the wedding. Um, my maid of honor, the lovely yes. the, my friend yeah. Karen. Your hairdresser. Um, yeah, yes. and she's a total giver, you know, she's yeah. like, and it was interesting to listen to her because, you know, she's, she's one of the, she's like you, she's one of the kindest, loveliest energy, you know, you just want to be in her, in her zone, you know, she's just lovely. Yeah. And, and we were talking about exactly this, and I think with COVID, it's really uh, kind of galvanized. You can really see the givers and the takers. It's 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 made it much more evident than than yes. ever before, you know. Yes. And um, yeah, and I and I can feel the energy with people now. You know, I, I I think that we've got a lot to be grateful for. COVID has given us a lot to be grateful for. I I know it's it, you know we see a lot of negativity around it. But it's really, it's it's really helped um, train a positivity. You know, I, you know, like you said, well, one day at a time. You know, you you know, you you have to take this one day at a time. How yes. else? Yes. How else are you going to handle this? Yes. You know, except for one day at a time. Like this morning, what what have you done today? Come on, what this is Sunday. What are you doing today? What have I done today? Uh, yes. Um, set up all this bump to get on Facebook Live, and you know how difficult that is. It takes me hours. <laughs> we didn't go for a walk. That's giving. Sorry. That's oh, giving of your time. There yeah. you go. You're giving of your yeah. time. Yeah. We yeah. did go. Um, Rob and I go for a walk every morning along the beach down in Aberavon Seafront. We didn't go this morning. Guess why? Because you had to do this. <laughs> no, it was, <laughs> know. it was raining. <laughs> of course, it was. It's you live in Wales, it. love. It always rains. Always rains. Every time you speak to me, it rains. You never speak to me on the funny days. <laughs> That's why we speak every day, Linda. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So ask me what I did today. I, I got up at six o'clock this morning. And first of all, I chatted to Paul because I needed to uh, just make sure that he was okay. And, um, and, and I had an idea, and, and so we talked about that. And then, um, oh, yeah, right, so today's Father's Day. Happy Father's Day to anybody Day, in yeah. the room who's here. Happy Father's Day. So, so my, I, I made a fish pie. Um, you know the hairy bikers? Yes. Yeah, so that I, I did their recipe for fish pie. Oh, yeah. It's really I good. I, got I love the, the hairy books, bikers yeah, too. Hairy bikers books. The rest of the book. Yeah. yeah. Yes. They're really good, you know, and they're really doable, achievable. It's not too yes. too yeah. I was gonna say sort of a lot of the a lot of the fishy recipes, they're so complicated. You it's yeah. way over my head. Yeah. You know. And so but the hairy bikes is really achievable. So this morning I made this wonderful fish pie. And when we're finished today, I'm gonna Dave and I are going over to um, to mum and dad's and I'm taking yeah. the lunch and it's easy to transport, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. And oh, I've left Dave in the kitchen. I must have got every pot and pan out of the, out of the <laughs> <kitchen>. <laughs> It looked like a bomber did it. By yeah. the time I finished this wonderful fish pie, I'd got everything out of the cupboard. So I said to Dave, who's also a giver, <laughs> I said, do us a favour, Dave, sort the kitchen out. It's <laughs> like that. Okay, well. <laughs> I've made this fish pie before. Is it a new recipe? I've never made it before. Okay. 
Yeah. No, I haven't made this one. It's really good. Yeah. Easy. It's got really a fish easy. peeping up at the top. Mm, a fish no. Got a fish head peeping up at the top. No. <laughs> I could, though, couldn't I? Oh, no. Put a little fish out. No, 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 no. It's just no. cheddar cheese, cheddar mash. Lovely. Nice. Sounds nice. Yeah, so, yes, so that's what I did this morning. Lovely. And now I'm chatting to my dear friend, Linda. And there are loads of our friends in the building. I thought it would just be a nice thing to um, to just hang out. If Paul's got any questions, if anybody's got any questions for us, Pat says she met you at Ditton a few years back. Is it a lo that long ago, Pat? Blimey. Yeah. Yeah. So um, you're on the now, when did we <laughs> meet? When did we meet, when Linda? We What's meet? your memory of us meeting? I have right. a very clear memory of meeting you. Yes, I got my data out. I had to get my books out to, to try and determine what what year we met. Do you know it's our 20th anniversary of our meeting? Is it? Yeah, yeah. Is that when? This, now, this, I know exactly when we met. Year. When did you publish? Here we go, then. When yeah. did you publish the book the with the little, book. the baby book? Yeah. When the was that published, Linda? 2010, was released uh, late 2010, just before Christmas, and we brought it to the UK into early 2011, so that makes it 20 years Ten now. Years. Eh? Ten years, love. Don't Ten you. years. Don't wish your life away. Ten years. Maths is not your strong point, is it? <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I just aged myself 10 years, haven't I? <laughs> yeah, 10 years. Right, okay. It's our 10 year anniversary. It oh, is. Yeah. 10 years. I yeah. love you, Linda Williams. Yeah, well, there we are. I'm a bit scattered. No, 10 years, this. sweetie. No, yeah. it's wonderful. So, UK, you, we were in the NEC and I brought we the, the exhibition to the NEC and it, all the Pergamana teachers were there because that's what they did in those days they, right. they all turned up for this big exhibition and they had the shop there and you just happened to be going to the ladies and you passed my table and you you were you walked past and you went and you came back i did because <laughs> i thought cool this is amazing i remember it really well because i didn't know who you were sorry i do now I but i didn't you were, I did know. How who did you, you know who I was though? Because I didn't know I who you were on, the, on crafting TV. Craft and craft. Yeah, because I I wasn't a stamper or a, a paper crafter. Apart from par parchment, was my world, you know, my craft. But I used yeah, to like yeah. to watch you because I like I liked your style and I liked your artwork and I liked the way you presented. It was cheerful and lovely. So I used to watch you on there. Um, ah, and, I see. So I knew who you were when you passed and you came back. And, oh, she she's coming back. Ah. <laughs> and you liked what I see, did. because I, oh. I can remember so well, and I flashed past to go to the loo because we were really busy on the stand. And as I ran past, I remember out the corner of my eye, I saw this, and I remember what it was. It was a three-dimensional um, pram. Was it a pram? It was a pram and, and a rocking crib. Yes. A rocking crib. And um, they were they were yeah. elevated, just exquisite. Yeah. And yeah. I remember thinking, out of the corner of me, I thought, cool, look at that. And I, I stared at it for a little while. And then I dashed off to go to the loo. But I came back to have another look. I thought, I've got to take time out to look at this. This is exquisite. Mm -hmm. And then there was this really tall lady. And she came over and she, I remember you said, D do you like it? And I said, this is absolutely incredible. It's wonderful. Right. And I, and I asked how you made it. And you said it was part. I said, I, you, I said, did you make it? Yes. So it's, it's fantastic. She said, it's parchment. Oh, blimey. That's insane. I remember thinking this is insane. Yeah. And then I said, well, I'll have to come, I'll have to come back. I've got to go because, of, you know, we're at the stand. So off I shot. And then I remember a couple of hours later, here's Linda the Giver again. Linda turns up at my stand, at our clarity stand, with the bag, with the bag, with a with a bag, a paper bag. And in the bag was the book. And you said, you said you liked my work, and I'd like to give you my book. And that's yeah. 
when I realised that you were, because I looked and it was Linda Williams, because you didn't tell me your name. Yes. And that's how yes. I got to know who you were. Yes. See, modest as well. Modest <laughs> and a giver. Oh. Uh, and then but, that's, met. but that was my, my official, that was how I got to know you. Yes. You know, just by, with a gift. You gave me a gift. Yeah, yeah. You know. Yeah. Well, you can, Fantastic, you can make, really. You can make great friends by giving them something, can't you? I think it's nice to give mm -hmm. to somebody that you don't really know. That's, a lot of friendships are made like that, aren't they? And I mean, oh, two yeah. years down the road, then I wrote the, the, my Christmas book, and I brought you that as well in the end. Yes. Year. And we still... We were still like ships that passed in the night. We didn't. Um, That's right. And then, was it 2015 you brought out the Groovy system? Was that 2015? Yes. Yes. Yeah, it's six years ago now. And because, well, traditional apartments were quite resistant to the Groovy system, system weren't they? <laughs> no, you know, no, that's no, an end of the statement, <laughs> isn't it, really? You had the parchment, oh, please. Good God. Hell. <laughs> Good and God. thinking, well, I saw... I, I thought there's something in this. I thought it's really, you know, you can make a complete circle without making a hash of it. And, you know, you can get all the, the shapes interested me first, first of all. And I thought I should write her an email to tell her, good luck with this. I think I think it's going to be a winner. And then it's one of those things where you think, I oh, wish I'd done that, but, but I never did. And then um, you came to, didn't we invite you to the Parchment Craft exhibition and you came to At that Bristol. Bristol you came to that and I went to meet you you gave me a hug and it felt as if we'd known each other for years and you said will you come and on I board? said and I said will you come on board and I remember your exact response was <laughs> I thought you'd never ask <laughs> I've been waiting for this she said I thought you'd never ask so I was yeah. like, yes in the back of the net, well, that's why I, did, I didn't write you an email because I thought, well, she was going to think I'm pushy. Ah, uh, <laughs> yeah, and then, and then we never look back, have we? No, never look back. And I think it's it's been a godsend. It's lovely to see people doing the craft that I've had to give up, and you know, um, because of dexterity issues or eyesight issues, and uh, the, the, yes. and you know. We used to have, oh, it was funny, when we used to run um, parchment cl classes, the traditional one, we were lucky if we had seven or eight people in our classes. That, well, that was a real big number. But, the, you know, we, if we run a, a groovy class now here in Wales, or Josie will say, this, the people are flooded into it. And our retreats, you know, wow, what a massive retreat that was. And remember the first one we did? Oh, I was nervous. Oh. In Tunbridge Wells? In Tunbridge Wells, yeah. Yeah. We had yeah. 80, didn't we? 80 people. It was, and you had yeah, to close we've got, it. We've got it going on in October again, haven't we? Yeah. Hopefully. Yeah. Fingers crossed we'll be yeah. able – well, I, I think by October it should be safe and fine. I hope so, yes. You know, we've, we've had to cancel the open days, which is why we're having our open day festival online um, this weekend. I've had to take the decision to cancel the clarity retreats in August just because because they, because they the government pushed back the restrictions to July, the end of July, I thought, no, nah, it's too close. This is rubbish. So yeah. we've had to move that again. But I'm just very hopeful and optimistic, ever the optimist, that October will be fine, Linda. Yes, yes. We're going to have to start thinking about what we're going to – well, we already have, haven't we? We've had to think about what we're, we're going to do. Think. Yeah, I've got a, few, got a few ideas. Just got to uh, yeah. get them onto paper now. We? But it was terrific, wasn't it? Well, wasn't it just wonderful? Everybody has – The, the retreat? Oh, oh, yeah. And, and we, we I, I analogised it to a swimming pool. Do you remember? And you were at the deep end, and yes. I was at the shallow end in the in the in the the room, uh, the orangery. It's called. I mean, the spa hotel is very ooh la la, isn't it? It's beautiful. very posh. Yeah, beautiful. And um, and and I can remember I was at the shallow end. So for anybody that was dipping their toe in the water or suddenly fell out of their depth in your end. They came, they came. Oh, they did, they did. They came. <laughs> so, I could see them just the end of the door, you know, I was thinking, oh, oh. <laughs> I was like, come on in. It's all right in this end, up the shallow end, paddling pool. Come on in the paddling pool. Yeah. And it was interesting because by the end of the retreat, 
everybody kind of achieved the same they got to the same place oh, yes. just in a different in a different way oh, just it was it was a fantastic really yeah. isn't it yes yeah do you know i just saw um up the side i'm looking at there's carol and all our friends and i just saw maggie craner you, you know maggie maggie yes i just saw maggie um she yes. just wrote and I, I remember when i met maggie i mean and i can remember we used to have a van i don't do you, this was before, before you and I, I you, yes. got tight, you know, before yeah. we became firm friends, um, I remember we had a, a, a shop, like a great big mobile shop. And Dave and I, we used to tour all over the country. And one of the places, one of the stop offs, it was a quite a big, old, you know, lot of organizing, used to do workshops like stamping workshops. And one of them was in Wollerton. Uh, I'm sure it was Wollerton near Bur Nottingham I don't know around there anyway my, my geography and I can remember Maggie came and she just lost her husband and she was really struggling to park and I remember she came in and very very flustered, flustered yeah. um, and I remember Dave said give us your keys <laughs> because oh. she had a huge car yeah. and he went out and he turned it round and parked it up for her and that and we've been firm friends ever since too yeah. you know you 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 just um you do what you can to help don't you yes you know that's Definitely. all we got to do and i think and i think this whole covid thing i mean when that kicked in i remember linda when when it all kicked off last march you know we we took all our acrylic i remember that lots and lots of acrylic and dave and my brother they started making remember. ppe masks do you remember we used yeah. all our acrylic yes. and then and then we had to spend a fortune having to replace the acrylic yeah. but it was all right we did we did the right thing we did you know, but we you did the right thing. always done the right thing i i always you try that's what i like about you because you always always try to do well you do do the right thing you don't try you do the right thing and you always have done ever since i've known you and you did, I mean, the shack shack, I mean, amazing. What what an amazing feat to go on to the, on there five days a week in the beginning and give of your time when your company was struggling. You did struggle. Every Big time. Still is. Still and is. You gave of your time. And you just, you d it wasn't it wasn't a selling technique, a piece of paper, no. a pencil and a rubber, and maybe some coloured pencils. Everybody's got those at home. And I take my hat off to you. It was an amazing thing to do. That, that I can't think of anybody else who was trying to run a company and do that at the same time. That was amazing. And I'm sure but everybody saw so it. It helped me as well, though, Linda. Yeah. It, you know, it did help me too. Yes, there we I are. The good thing about giving is that it feels good and the yes. reward for doing the right thing is that. That is, is the that, reward, isn't it? It's that, you yes. Know, that is the reward, yes. I think. Well, a lot and, of people um, haven't realised so that helped me yet. A lot. Don't you think? Uh, a lot of people that? haven't realised that yet. The, they but that got... is a fact. Yes, that is a fact, yes. Yes. You know, and, and I think it helped me massively because every morning I thought, I'm doing a good thing, I'm doing a good thing, this is yeah. the right thing to do. And the other thing is, it gave me a massive discipline. And I think because all of our routine lives were all just shot to shit, weren't they, basically? It just went poof, yeah. and nobody was going to work, nobody was allowed to go to the shop. All our routines just got blown out of the water. And um, and so what, the, what that 10 o'clock shack did for me every morning up at six put your makeup on have a bit of breakfast make sure you know what you're doing switch all the machines on and it was it was just you know that's what it that's what it did for me personally yeah. For, yeah. from a selfish point of view it gave me that daily um that routine yes. discipline yes but you and you, i think a lot of people struggled not having a routine yes but you gave them a little bit of routine you gave all these people yeah. Just a little bit of routine, just a little bit of normality where they, they parked their fears because it was, it was, it was, it was, I found it quite terrifying at times when you actually Did you as well? didn't think about it. It was, it was, it was quite worrying, you know, and we, we're not over it yet, but we're still giving, aren't we? We're still giving, yeah. you know. Just keep going. Yeah, you've got to keep going. Yeah. 
And, and you know, and in the end, it is what it is. You know, we can't, you know, I've said it before. It's never the event, but it's how you respond to it that will ultimately affect you. You yeah. know, I've said it in the shack. I've said it to you when yeah. when we had all the fear with, with around Rob's illness. I mean, yeah. I think he's 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 out of the woods now. I'm I'm yeah. I'm very hopeful. Fingers you know, he's gone through the. Yeah, but I mean, my God, Linda, you know, you you didn't shout about that. You just kept it to yourselves and dealt with it. You know. Yeah. Yeah. I knew what was going on. You know, yeah. and that's been months of this in your yeah. life. Yeah. And you, but that, but you didn't falter. You you kept on coming and kept on, mm -hmm. you know, doing the right thing for us. And you know that's staggering. But I also know that that kept you on an even keel as well, because otherwise, well, yeah, you're just feeding the problem more and more energy. Exactly. I get up in the morning and I think, oh, what am I going to do today? That'd be the business of. I mean, Rob was going to the hospital for was it uh, two or three weeks a for. Month. A month almost for treatment. It spread over a month, didn't it? Yeah, every day apart from every weekend. day. And I, I have to drive him there, and I couldn't go in with him. So instead of sitting in the car worrying about him in there, I had my paper and my pad and my. I was writing instructions. I was drawing. I was, I was, I was designing. So a lot of de designs have come out of the hospital car park, you know. And I, and it just. It just focused my mind for that time where he was in there, where he was away from me. And, uh, you know, apart from taking care of him, when I wasn't taking care of him, I was... So I moved my craft table into the lounge so that I could actually design and craft. Be with him. So that I could be with him. So be it's still him. in there, actually. So in there, for now, yes. yes. Lovely. And and you know and I re and I remember often talking to you and you'd be sitting in the car park outside the hospital, and I figured out when you would be sitting in the you know we had yeah, like a absolutely. countdown. It's like your clock, you know, yeah. ten days, ten to eleven days, twelve days. You know, we we were two late two days left. We had a countdown going, didn't we? Every day, you yeah. know, and and I think um, and there are times when it, a, a month now since. Yes. It's been about a month since it stopped, hasn't it? Yes, that's right. Yes. And when you were, you'd you phone know. me, and I'd falter quite often, you know, and you, you knew when I was faltering, and you gave me a blinking good talking to her, and you rallied me round and, and you know, put, said it as it was, and put me on the straight and narrow one day at a time. It's living in the solution. I'll, I'll never forget your words and your, your help while I was. While yeah. I was, you know. Well, that's what, that's what friends are for, though, Linda. That's what friends yeah. are for, yeah. you know, yeah. and um, and and it swings in it's, it swings in roundabouts, you know. I mean, if we're having an honest moment here, we've had some right challenges at Clarity, you know, some seriously um, shit situations going on in the last, you know, since yeah. lockdown and that. Yeah. And um, and I turn to you and I say, I don't know, I don't know what to do. I, you know, you yeah. have to, you have to have somebody that you trust implicitly that that knows what's going on, but that won't. Um, you don't, you don't. The thing about you is, you don't give me suggestions. You don't tell me what to do. You know, because there is no, there is no. no no, you, you just know what got to I mean? you? You've just got it's to... All, it's all in here, isn't it? Yes, exactly, yes. You've just got to you know, try to stay positive. positive. There, are, mm. there is no... Sometimes there is no right and or wrong mm. answer. you just got to try and work out what's best for you. You. But you never give me a, you never give me like you never tell me how to run my business. That's no, what I mean. No. Unless I ask you, if I say, what do you think? You know, then I'll then you give me an opinion. But yeah. you don't tell me how to run my business. You just you just listen, and then when I ask you your advice, then you give me your advice. Yes. And usually, it's always actually really sound advice because you're. I think often you can't see the spot you're standing on, can you? No. No, and it's a lot And going so on. I have to ask somebody who's not not in the eye of the storm, well, what does it look like from where you're standing? Yes. Am I doing this right? You know? Yes. And I think difficult at the moment. we think alike as well. So if mm. you if you give me some advice, it's it's probably what I would have I would have got to eventually, but just needed some right. to shine a light on it, you know? 
isn't that right you know <laughs> and I, and i think the other thing is you know it we've got friends in our in our inner circle you know like in the design team yeah. and it's been they they are going through hell you know with their not my story to tell yeah. but we yeah. know right yeah. and what those friends do they right size your sh stuff yes. say shit again they right size your stuff don't they you yeah. know and and your when you start to share with people and you hear what they're going through then then my business stuff it, it pales into insignificance it's like oh it's yeah. just money yeah. it's just trying to run a business that becomes insignificant compared to what other friends are going through yes yeah. you know? and that's where i think you know that um this whole covid phase let's just call it a phase it's not a plague it's just a phase right and it's affected people in different ways but it really has um it's brought out the best in some and the worst in others you know and and it's just uh it, it it i'd like to think that i'm in the best in some camp wow. you know because wow. when it's all over and you look back you get to keep that yeah gets to keep that yeah know? yeah so, and, and, and i think there'll be, there'll be a lot of people that have gained friends and lost friends throughout all of this it's just oh, yeah. i know it was awful COVID, but it seemed to right size a lot of things you know and our 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 design team they're amazing it's, i can only speak for the the groovy design team i'm sure the others are equally as good um the, we're all tight we're tight if something's wrong like you circle the wagons don't you like you've always said you yeah. circle the wagons if something's wrong we've circled the wagons and we, yeah. we really are you know you could i count all the design team as my friends and they they've they've been there as well you know i didn't discuss rob's illness with many people at all my my few little handful of friends and members of the design team so you know it says a lot doesn't it yeah 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 they're not just it's not just a bunch of people that make samples for clarity you know no. it's not like that at all you no. know the, and uh why is that then because you nurture your design team if you didn't nurture your design team and if you didn't value your design team i don't think they would be so tight i think i think things like that stem from above and you've always I, I've always felt, I've always felt valued. When I joined your team, I felt valued. And that was something I'd never felt before. As a Pergamano teacher, Pergamano teachers all over the world spent a huge amount of money training to become, to, for the privilege, and continue to spend money, and, and paid for their own hotels, and paid for their transport, and paid to actually be in the, the the NEC and over in Belgium and we, we paid all our fees, you know, for very little return. So to when I joined you, wow, wow, that was so different. And I, I really felt as if yeah. I was valued, you know, I was treated really like I should have been treated by a company. But you go yeah, over absolutely. The, yeah, you 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 did from the very beginning. And I know other members of the team feel that way too. So I won't forget that. It, well, it's very good of you to say so, but to me it goes without saying. You know, it's obvious, isn't it? You know, you underpin the parchment branch of our business. Thank you. You know, and so, it, well, it's obvious, you know, and there are there are a number of, of people in the design team who, who really define, define it, you know. Oh, yes. And... Uh, and my job is to make sure that they're happy. Yes, of course. You know, and that they feel cherished, and they that they're they know that they're appreciated. And it's the same with the stampers as well. It's it's the same with the staff. It's the same yes. with anybody who's, oh, who's who's working towards. Yeah, keeping. I mean, when you first invited me up to Clarity Towers, when you were in the old place, Rob and I hmm. came out to stay stay with you, you put us up um, and we, you took us to Clarity Towers and it was, 
I was so impressed that the working relationship between you and all your stuff, and they were, it was a happy place. They were, they were all so happy and welcoming, and it was a real, real happy place. And that was impressive. You know? That's good to know. Yeah. I mean, with COVID, it's all a little bit up in the air now because, of course, we, 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 um, we were moving, weren't we? So we had two yes. locations and then COVID hit and we've still got two locations. And we're still, we've got half as many people, but we had to keep it in two locations because one, um, we had to keep the social distancing. You know, it's really been quite a challenge. That's and so, effect. so we've still got we got two factories, we've got two yeah. warehouses, we've got two. It's two of those. That's Noah's Ark. Yes, I can imagine. So <laughs> <laughs> it'll be all right. It'll be. Hey, do you know what, Linda? It is what it is. It is what it is. Yes. You know. Yes. And and we do the best we can, and I, we can't do more than that. And you know, it is. It, it's a challenge. It's it. I it's know. a challenge. But at the end of the day. You know, today's Sunday. I'm having a, a wonderful coffee morning with my best mate, my best friend, you know, my dearest firm, firm friend, Linda. We've got hundreds of people in the room with us, you know. Yeah. Do you know that there are 287 people in the rooms with us, well, Linda? Well, I can see 312 on mine. Three, see, I don't know where I'm looking. 312 people having Top coffee on a Isn't Sunday it? morning. <laughs> Well, like, yeah, isn't that amazing? That's a lot of people, isn't it? Mm. Hopefully, mm. we've all got a cup of coffee. And I, and I think, I think the craft, you know, the whole craft industry. I mean, it has really morphed. You know, it's changed. How long have I've been in the craft industry now for over thirty years? You know, I'm like a dinosaur. <laughs> like a dinosaur oh. sexy dinosaur though dave says <laughs> but i can remember in the early 90s when i when i started and i um i developed have you am i getting a reverb are you getting an echo on my no it's weird no you're all right no. um I remember um, when when I came up with transparent stamps. You know, like the resistance we got with Groovy? Yes. Remember the resistance? You know okay. that when they pushed back? All the trad parchers, whoa, oh. they did not like, they did not like this yeah. idea, did they? Well, I'd had the same scenario 20-something years earlier yeah. in the early 90s. Well, yeah, cool, blimey. The vulcanized, the red rubber people. Oh, My name is a dirty word in California when I started oh, with transparent wow. stamps. I didn't know that. Yeah. No. Oh, my God. I couldn't give them away, Linda. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't give them away. It didn't matter where I went. I got the door slammed in my face. Well, it's, it's probably because you had a good idea and you were threatening them. Not threatening Absolutely. them. Absolutely. You know, they, you were a threat. Yeah, but they felt threatened. They yes. felt threatened yeah. by, by polymer stamps. And, yeah. and you know, I didn't see it like that. I just thought it was an intelligent idea. I just thought, well, oh, why wouldn't oh, you yeah. use a stamp that you can see through rather yeah. than a, a one that you can't see through? Yes. You know, to me, it was just clear, obvious, yes. you know. And that's why the name Clarity came from, from the clear stamps. And... Um, and and I can remember the resistance and the hostility. And then when we started with Groovy, it was the same again. It was this resistance and this hostility, you know. Yes. yes. And, and I mean, now, I don't think there are many stamp companies in the world that don't have polymer stamps. Photo I mean, nobody copied a bad idea, did they? So when, when did they become popular then, when you brought them over to the UK? Yeah, okay. there was a company in Scotland that ripped us off. And then once one company ripped us off, then it was like open, yeah. you know, open game. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but, you know, we're st that, the, the Scottish company's not around anymore. We still are, yeah, we are. you know. Yes, yes. So it's okay. It is what it is, Linda. And as I say, it is never the event, but how you respond to it that ultimately affects you, yes. you know. Yes. So we must be doing something right because we're still going. Still going, yeah. <laughs> hard work, though. It's hard work on your behalf. I know you, you're always. It's a challenge. Yes. Yes. It's a challenge, isn't it? Hey? Yeah. 
Mm-hmm. I've got I've got a good partner. Dave is like, yeah. That, I think that makes a big difference. If you've got um, you know, I was married before, um, and and my partner he wasn't supportive like Dave, you know, and yeah. so it, it was a more difficult then. It's more difficult if you've got a husband that's not pulling on the same chain you know oh absolutely yes yes you know and we all know a lot of us know that one you know yeah. Yeah. so so having a partner that's in the same in in the same boat as you and rowing in the same direction that's very useful yeah. <laughs> very helpful rowing together me <laughs> yeah <laughs> and and the other thing about dave is he's ever so practical like he's a real you know because he was a farmer yes and so you know you want something built ask a farmer you want something made ask a farmer you want something done ask a farmer they just can turn their hand to anything yeah yeah i think dave and rob are very much alike in that way that's why they get on well you know they're always discussing how to make this and and look what i've got and look what i've bought and i mean you do this 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 and this yes Yes. It's true, isn't it? Yes. You know, yes. and and they ask each other as advice, and yes. you know that's that's it is it's a real um, it's very important. It's like you said about Lynn Jackson makes you look good, right? Yes. I've got Dave and a, my brother and a lot of people behind me, and Paul, lovely Paul, they yes. make me look good. Yes. You take those people out of the the arena, make makes us makes our job very very different. I think it does, yeah. A lot more mm. difficult, and um, d- they take some of the hours away from us, don't they? Just to yeah, exactly, exactly. So forward. yeah, it, have you finished your coffee? Nearly, yeah. You finished yours? It must be cold. I have. It is, but it's good for your complexion. My mum says. What cold coffee? So. It, Cold coffee, yeah. I'm not supposed to wipe it on your foot, but apparently my mum always says it's good for your complexion, which is it. nice. Now, I've got a question. <laughs> Linda, um, I've got a question here. Hazel on YouTube wants to know if Linda was – you weren't brought up in London, were you? No. No, I'm Welsh through and through. Why? There you go. Have I got, have I got because she went to school then? with a – no, that leave. No, don't. Can you do a Can you do a Cockney accent? Oh, no. Nah. <laughs> nah. Nah. Do I talk nah. like that? <laughs> no, I can't. I can't do any accent. Not like you, or Grace. She can turn her hand to any accent, can't she? No. Well, it's no. her job, isn't it? Why does you, she no, think? So the answer is because she went to school with a with a girl called Linda Williams, who had yeah. She went oh. to school with a girl who had your name. Okay. Well, when I was in school, I think Linda was a popular name. There were five Lindas in my class, so I think it was a popular oh, We had five Barbaras in my class. Did Barbara you? was yeah. another one from yeah. the 50s, yeah. Yeah. Barbara. Yeah. I mean, there's no kids called Barbara now. When children are born now, they don't call them Barbara, do they? No, that means that you don't see Linda. Say that. This is Barbara. This is Barbara. It would be too weird, wouldn't it? Hey, look, say hello to Barbara. I'd be like, what? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you could get away with Linda. This is Linda. Oh, I don't know. But Barbara, the people that go, what? What? <laughs> <Wouldn't you? laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and Gracie, my Grace. See, now I knew that I was going to call her Grace before I, before I even had a baby. And you know what? This years and years and years ago. Do you remember Grace Jones? Yes. The black, singer. beautiful, yeah. phenomenal singer, Grace Jones, yes, yes. down to the white. I mean, just beautiful. And I always said, if I ever have a little girl, I'm going to call her Grace Gray. Yes. Yeah. And then irony, this is so ironic, right? I actually, um, I married a black dude. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And so Grace is mixed race. And even before before she was born, Rob and I both agreed if we had a little girl, her name was going to be Grace. Yes. Yeah. And, and so it, and that we didn't know. I didn't did you know what your kids were going to be before they were born? Did you did you find out in the pregnancy what they were going to be? Because I no, didn't. No, we never knew that. No, no. I don't think no. they I don't even remember having a scan, Barbara. 
But my, my kids See, I had quite a few miscarriages. See, I had I had I had quite a few miscarriages. So I had like miscarriage, miscarriage, yeah. then Grace, <laughs> then miscarriage, miscarriage, then Mark. And then I thought, right, that's it, too good. That'll do. You know, I'd already yes. done done gone through it six times, that'll do. Yeah. And um and and when when Grace so after a couple of miscarriages, I didn't, you don't want to know because you learn very quickly, don't you? You're the nurse. You yeah. know this. You're a nurse. You learn very quickly. There's a big difference between getting pregnant and having having yeah. a baby. I yeah. figured that. They don't tell you that, but you figure it out after your first miscarriage, don't you? And, um, and I remember after that, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't want to know. I thought life, you don't get many lovely surprises in life. No. And so I just thought. I'll find out when the baby's put in my arms, you know, after a couple of miscarriages, you don't, you don't want to get emotionally attached until it's for real. Do you, do you know what I mean? And, um, and so I didn't know that I had a little girl until she was in, put in my arms. It was, she was born in Nuremberg. And I remember then, you know, it could have been a, so we, we don't, we knew that it would be a grace, but we didn't have a name for a boy. It was like we in intuited that it was going to be a girl yes. because we didn't know what it was, what we were going to call it if it was a boy, you know? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And that's why her room was yellow. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's what know. we did then, wasn't it? You know, we didn't do it beige mm. like they do now or browns. And it was either blue, pink or yellow. Wasn't it? Well, because we didn't know that it was blue. We didn't know it was going to be blue or or pink. We just went with yellow. We went straight down yeah. the middle. We thought, you know, it, both of them would work. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. But but it's so ironic that Grace, who ended up being Grace, and Grace by name and Grace by nature, she's yes. a fabulous girl. She is um, fabulous. And she ended up being mixed race as well, as well. you know. So yeah. she's got that lovely that lovely skin, hasn't she? She got a beautiful glow. And and Mark, he came along a couple of years later. So how many have you got, Linda? I've got three. Rob's got two because second marriage. So um, we've got five between us. Yes, so my my eldest is fifty next year. Fifty? Yeah, he's fifty next year. Give over. I think I've got the maths right. <laughs> <laughs> so it probably means that he's forty. <laughs> he's fifty next year. Yes, yeah, he is. And then there's he can't um, be, Linda. He is. Oh, yeah, unless you started when you were about 14. Did you start? No, yeah. I was 18 when I had him. 18? Yeah. <laughs> I was 18, yeah. 18. Good yes. grief. Yeah. And then my um, Emma is two years behind him, and uh, she's 48. And Dean is 29. was a bit of a mistake, actually, <laughs> but a nice mistake. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Three kids. Wow. And Rob's got two. I've got a question. And Rob's so got, got two. And how old are they? Sorry? you got an Andrew as well, haven't you there? Andrew is, is nearly Elizabeth? Um, Catherine. Andrew and Catherine. So we've got two Andrews. Catherine. We've got big Andrew and little Andrew. <laughs> 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 yeah, so. Wow. Yeah. Helen Whitehead wants to know how you got into parchment, Linda. Right. Um, well, my friend was a headmistress and was recently retired, and um, she wasn't she wasn't feeling too great about it. You know, she she'd left due to mental problems, and she, I said, come on, let's go and do an evening class. So she said, what should we do? And I said, I want to do, I'd like to do stained glass. <laughs> you laugh at this now. She said, oh, I get my hands dirty. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I did. So I said, well, what, what do you like? We had the prospectus in front of us. What, do you, what, what should we do? I don't know. Let's stick a pin in the book. And the book landed on parchment, the pin landed on parchment crap. And she said to me, oh, I don't know what that is. And I said, well, I don't know either. Let's go. And uh, we ne we never looked back. And my, my teacher Ellen James, what loves to watch you. She was she always watched you on TV, and um, she really? still does. she still does. Yes. And um, good grief. We went, 
we went to Ellen for about two or three years in the local college and I learnt my first cards were terrible. I thought they were amazing. <laughs> I love to find my first <laughs> one. <laughs> I love to find my, I thought I'm destined to do this for the rest of my life. <laughs> I'll find Aww. it and I'll bring it to uh, Groovy Tuesday one day. So, um, have you so, still got your first card that you ever yes. made? Yeah. Yeah, I have. It'll, I'll have to, to see that. It. Yeah, I'll, I'll find it. I'll dig it out. I got the first few actually. So Ellen then, I said to Ellen, I'd love to teach this. And she said, well, go ahead. You, you could teach it, she said. You know, I got to such a level. And I started my, my own classes. And Ellen actually ended up coming to my classes. So oh, I learned. Yeah. I, I, it was quite an expensive thing to learn at one point. Because if you wanted to get on, you'd have to go to all these classes and join the guild and work your way up. And so I, I decided that I was going to go as far as I could go with it, you know. And, but I enjoyed it. It was a challenge, as parchment craft is. It's a challenge because I'm always learning. And I always say to people when they're doing the groovy, you can take it as far as you want. You will always learn something from somebody, you know. So yeah, that's how well, isn't I. Isn't it amazing that you started by putting a pin in a in a in an adult education book? Yeah. And I started stamping. Somebody has asked Nahid Khan wants to know how I got into stamping. Right. Well, the way I got into stamping is uh got is funny as well because I was living in California and Grace was born. She was tiny. She was about two years old when we moved to California. And um, and so I noticed that American children, remembering that my background is linguistics, I've got a degree in linguistics, so I'm all about language words. And, um, and I noticed that the kids didn't know their nursery rhymes, right? Yeah. It was really weird. The American children, they, they're not familiar with Mother Goose at all. So I know being English, that, that nursery rhyme, rhythm and rhyme is really important for language acquisition uh, in, in young kids. And, um, and so I set about illustrating a nursery rhyme alphabet, which we still is one of our best selling yes. things. Um, and so I illustrated this poster and on the front were the pictures and they were like a phonic alphabet. So, so like B, bar, bar, black sheep, there was a B hidden behind the the, the black sheep yes. and then d was dr foster and h was hickory dickory dot and they were little mouth so there was a picture on the front and then on the back were the nursery rhymes and the whole idea was with this rhyme chart we called it it was a phonic alphabet and the children looked at the front it was laminated and my brother we bought this industrial laminate because steve was in the states with us at the time and and we had this industrial laminator in the garage. <laughs> and he used to have to laminate the, these posters at night because it used to it was like three phase electric, and he used to <laughs> knock out all the. He used to have a power cut in the cul de sac, and everybody, all the Americans, would be like, "Oh my God, we got no no electric!" And it would be like <laughs> Steve with the. Ele so we used to do it at night, laminate these these rhyme charts. Anyway, they sold like hotcakes all over, coast to coast, everywhere. We couldn't make them fast enough. We were laminating them and sending them out, and they were going into these shops, and they were selling like, like you, you know what. And then, um, and then this, this rep we had in those days used to work with sales reps. And this rep of ours, he said to me, so what's na what next? You know, now you need another product to go th with it, to accompany it. And he said... So we looked around and the three things were either magnets, stick, because I said it would be nice if you could move the stamps around. Yes. Or you could move the letters around. So it was either going to be stickers, magnets or stamps. stamps. And, and I felt that stamps were more creative because you could colour them in and they were just more yeah. hand-eye coordination. And then I thought, well, it made more sense if you could see through them we was we because all you could all you had in in that in those days was these big wooden lumps and the little hands you couldn't get your hand around it so it had to be big enough to color in anyway long story short i said we'll go with stamps then we saw a stamp shop they were all these big wooden clunky things and i said it'd be made it'd be made more sense if you could see through them and that's how transparent stamps were born wow. transparent yeah. art stamps and then we developed those handles look we still use them 
You know the handles yeah. like that? Yes, yes. I've got them everywhere. Yeah. Yes. Um, because the idea was, you see, that a child could hold the handle and it didn't matter how big the picture was, it didn't matter how small the hand. So it was little hands, big art. That was the strap line. Yes, yes. And that's how we developed the clarity stamp, you see. And it was all about this nursery rhyme alphabet so that kids could spell their names. It was the next kind of um, teaching tool. It was all much more education than art. Yeah. Much yeah. more education than art. And then, and then the marriage broke down. Well, he, he moved on. He found something more interesting than me. And um, so he moved on. Well, it's life, isn't it? It happens. Yeah. And I came back to I came back to England. So I went from living in California back to East Peckham. <laughs> yeah, but, and then but I started you have, again. You wouldn't have met Dave if he hadn't have moved on. I wouldn't have met Dave. Mm -hmm. There you go. Like the kiss of and, the frogs, and, didn't you? It's all right. It's okay. Yeah, kiss a couple of frogs. Yeah, me too. but you know, yeah, it, it happens, doesn't it? But that's why, uh, in answer to the question, how did I start stamping? The stamping came from the poster. Yes. So it's funny how you get there. And then when we came to England, and this was the key, when we came to England, um, I, I had no idea that stamping was an adult pastime. I really thought it was much more of a, a children's pastime, you know, for me. Yes. And yes. then when I came to England, it was definitely an adult pastime. And Ken Kilminster, now you know Ken. Yeah, I know Ken, yes. Yeah. Now Ken was the, I remember I had, when I started, I used to have this little six foot table um, where I used to sell my stamps up at Hempstead Valley because it was near where mum and dad lived. So I could take the kids to, to my mum and dad. And then I, I just used to have this little craft stand and, and I'd sell my stamps. And I remember this bloke running towards me and I thought, I don't recognise you. You know, <laughs> even though that was where I was brought up, as I thought, I don't know you. And he saw the transparent stamps and he said, oh, I can't believe this. This is amazing. Oh, my God. This is what yeah. I've always dreamt of. And he was a stamper. And it was Ken that introduced me to the stamping world in England. Because I, I was, I'd been gone for 15 years, Linda. I knew nobody. Yeah. I knew nobody. I couldn't even get a bank account. I was, I'd been, I'd been abroad for all those years. And it was Ken who who showed me where the um now it used to be Ali Pally, you know the big stamp show Ali yeah. Pally. Well, in those days it used to be in Kensington. It used to yeah. be at the um it used to be up in North Kensington in the, uh, I can't remember the name of it now. It was a big building up there. And so he said, that's a big stamp show in London. And that's where, and he helped. He, he was, Ken was instrumental in yes. helping Clarity um, get established in England. You yeah. Know? And he's here. I bet Ken's in the building. Aren't you Ken? He yeah. always is. Always. Always look for Ken. He's there every morning in the Shack Shack as well. There's yeah. another giver. And we've known each other. My God, Ken, that must be, it's nearly, well, 1995 I came back. So that's nearly 30 years, 20, 26 years I've known Ken now, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. He's and he's child. still here every day. Yeah. Isn't that fabulous? Well, you know Ken from the retreats yeah. now. Yeah, really nice man. Yeah, yeah. So so, so there you go. That's That's our story. That's our story. And, um, yeah, there we go. The Commonwealth Institute. Thank you, Ken. Oh, there we that are. was what it was called, the Commonwealth Institute in, in North Kent. Yeah. yeah. And he's here. Of course he is. And so there you go, Linda. Have you enjoyed our coffee morning? I have. It's been lovely. It's been lovely to catch up. We don't see each other, yeah. but we do talk a lot, don't we, on the phone? Every day. When yeah. was the last time we actually got together physically? When was the last time we've been together? Two years ago. Is it two years now? Two years ago, yeah. Two years ago, round about now, actually. Um, what was it? It was an open day, wasn't it? I think it was. Yeah, right. it, was, it, it was the open day in 2019. Wow. Because yeah. we couldn't do it last year, obviously. Not. And that's that's what this is all about, is the open day festival. Yeah. Two yeah. years, Linda. Yeah. Jeez. And during the last two years, when the last lockdown ended, we were going to come up and spend a week with you. So come up and spend a week, but 
because of Rob's illness, and we couldn't do that. Remember, That's so right. that fell through. So, uh, oh, hopefully soon, eh? Oh, absolutely, um, absolutely. I can't wait. You know, it'd be it'd be just good to just sit and drink coffee properly together, eh? Yeah. And you know what? The coffee that I'm drinking is the coffee you send us. It's the gallon it? coffee. Yeah, no, no, no. of course. Let it tastes so more. lovely. You got plenty. Got plenty. Still got enough. Thank you, dear. And on that lovely note, I'm gonna I'm gonna say goodbye to all our friends. Thank yeah. you so much you. for joining us, everybody. Thank you. Bye, Have a everybody. fantastic Sunday. Bye bye, everybody. I'm off bye. to mum and dad's now with Dave. What about you, Linda? What are you going to do? Um, I'm going to make Rob a nice uh, evening meal. I'm going to do the prep for that now. I don't know what I'm going to make yet, but uh, I've got a couple of ideas in my head. So, And I expect maybe the children will come and see him at some point. So, yeah. Ah, so, lovely. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's why we're going to head over to the Medway Towns now and see mum and dad. Much love we'll to you, mum and dad. Fish pie. Yeah, enjoy. I'll, say, I'll give them my love. Yeah. yeah. Now okay. you take care. Lots right. of love and thanks for joining us, Linda. Oh, thank you. I'll see you soon. I'll see you soon. Yeah. And and everybody, don't forget, there's still um the sale goes on till tomorrow. Lots of love, Linda. Yeah, lots of the love. Sale goes on till tomorrow. Yeah. Bye, bye bye, love. Bye. Thanks for joining us. Okay, bye.